Good morning, folks. Today we're seeing a continuation of the need for an earthquake warning system as another deadly quake strikes Earth. Space weather has multiple points of note today. We've got weather as well, including a very rare tornado. Of course, the place to begin here is spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day of our star having multiple pops. The bright sunspot group begins departing while dark coronal holes turn in. The x-ray flux shows that the big sunspot has been stifled for yet another day. When we analyze it, we can call it. He's not going to fire at Earth. Magnetism faded the last 24 hours, and he's turning too quickly. Incomers on the other side, not too impressive. That one flare spike you did see on the charts over the last day reached up only into mid-C-class range. It did indeed come as the magnetic interaction broke at the departing sunspot group, destabilizing the region on a small scale, but which in turn set off a plasma filament out ahead of the sunspots. It will not be coming our way either. Slow but wide CME. Solar wind. Yellow shows the continuing broken upstream impacts. This one after another has not at all been intense, but the unrelenting shock waves have maintained magnetic instability on a global scale. The culprits are the coronal holes, and we've got more incoming. More streams, but their IMF sector boundaries and alpha waves are taking their shot at Earth's crust now. Our disaster prediction app is beginning testing, but we're already seeing major alerts for these coronal holes on the disk. Japan still working through its situation when a 7.8 struck the other side of the Pacific, Ecuador. After tsunami warnings rang across the eastern Pacific, a wave less than one foot was actually seen. Nothing major, but the damage had already occurred, at least 77 dead. We also had the Cleveland volcano go off yesterday morning, saying hello to Pavlov just a few hundred miles away, alert levels raised at both Alaskan mountains. We also saw a very rare tornado slam Uruguay. This deadly twister caused significant damage to local areas, killed at least two people, and it is not a normal visitor to the area like tornadoes are in the central United States. Folks, it has been a big week. Fly on the Wall podcast posted yesterday, a great hour. We discussed a new study implicating how these solar storms can kill you where you stand. And we go over a ton of information about the magnetic situation of Earth and the weather getting very out of control. We've got pressure and radar forecast across the planet, current global conditions, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Oh, <laughs>